Hey! Welcome to my Fibonacci Spiral video. Uh, this is where I'm going to draw a Fibonacci Spiral and show you guys how it works and why it's cool and, you know, anything else that I can find out about this. Uh, yeah, Fibonacci Spiral! Really cool thing, one of my favorite things. It's, yeah, I'm used to If you have no idea what I'm talking about, if you say, when I say Fibonacci Spiral, click on the origin right there. I'll take you to something that you can learn, where you can learn about the Fibonacci numbers and what they mean and how they work. Okay. An 8 by 8, and a 13 by 13, 21 by 21, 34 times by 34, 55 by 55, and 89 times 89, and so on. I should be able to reach a 55 by 55 if I place this correctly, but I might not. But my goal is to reach a 55 by 55 in this huge area of graph paper. So, that you see, that's, and then if you, so once you've curved around this, you can create a spiral from corner to corner of all of the squares, and you'll, and voila, you've got a cool little spiral that appears everywhere in nature. Um, you have the Fibonacci spiral and, like, those nautilus shells. Those little, like, shells and little swirly shells that have little animals living inside them. That is a Fibonacci spiral that they live in. It's pretty cool. So, let's begin. We're going to start with a 1 by 1 square. We're then going to add another 1 by 1 square, making a 2 by 1 rectangle. We then add this 2 by 2 square to make it a 3 by 2 rectangle. Then attach a 3 by 3 square to make it a 3 by 5 rectangle. Then attach a 5 by 5 square to it. You should now be able to see that we're adding the squares of all the Fibonacci numbers onto this block. This now gives us a 5x8 rectangle. Then add an 8x8, eight eight, a 13x13, 13 13, and a 21x21. 21 21. As you can tell by those dotted lines, I was unable to make a 34x34 34 34 square. I think I got a 30 by I got a 30, but I couldn't make it the extra 4, which is very disappointing. Which means I can't make a 34x34 34 34 and I can't make a 55x55, 55 55, so I'm sorry. But we can work with this. Um, I, just because I missed my goal doesn't mean we have to stop. So I'm now going to show you how to make a spiral out of this. Okay, so I'm running out of time here because my battery is at like 10%. And my, it's also, my camera's also saying, oh, you've only got, you know, you've got a couple megabytes or gigabytes or something left on space. So I'm going to do this really fast on how to make the, uh, how to make... This is spiral. You go, and then I'm gonna. Since I don't have much time, I'm just gonna do it really crooked. But when you do it, feel free to make it nice and curvy. You're gonna go here, and here to here. Here to here. Oopsies. Here to here. Just sort of work your way down. And so this, you know, this shape appears in nature all the time. Badoop and Badoop. So there you go. 
And here's a little spiral. You can sort of round it off if you want or something. But uh, that's, that's my little spiral thing. I'm really sorry I didn't have time to round it off and such. But that is the Fibonacci spiral. You can find it all over the nature. And I'll see you next video. I might be discussing phi, but I might be discussing other things like prime numbers and such. So you find it. Feel free to find out. I'll see you next video.